hey guys welcome back to my another video in this video is going to be really short i'm just going to, going to show you the how you can use the any other external library in a react component and in this video i'm going to show you how we can use a jquery on x and a react applications so here uh this is the uh, document with the article uh, which is written on the react.js uh, websites basically it is going to teach you that how we, we can add our uh, the plugin uh, from the uh, any, any other external libraries uh, here is the uh, how to approach a problem it shows that that we could able to add it like uh, uh, in component any of this component we could able to any of these elements we could able to add it using some plugin and and we need to destroy that plugin after this react is unaware of changes which is made it to the dom outside of react so it determines the update based on own internal representations if the dom are manipulated by any other library react get confused and no longer get to uh, recover so here is the ways that it's gonna teach you that how we can implement the uh, plugin and how we, we need to close the plugin okay so so in this video what i'm going to show you is i already have my react component and i'm going to add our uh, jquery ui in, in jquery ui if you guys didn't know what's a jquery ui it has a bunch of the component uh, are available which we, we could able to use it the components are like accordion autocomplete like this right if i click it like autocomplete maybe it's going going to show you like like autocomplete stuff like that and and date picker menu progress bar uh, like this component so now i'm going to show you how we can use this the date picker on using the jquery ui in our angular uh, not the angular sorry in react component so if i click on view source we could i can definitely see the view source here so we i just need to use this date picker and i just need to put this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to going to copy this and i'm going to put it in my uh here in a react component okay so i will paste it here okay so my date picker is here so if i go in my react okay it's really huge but but it is here okay it doesn't even work date picker at all because i didn't even put any of the uh library here there are a lot of frame ui framework are available for react so so if you guys really want to use a jquery uh ui you could use it but there are a lot of the uh, ui framework for react is available such as like material ui right and semantic ui all are available and we could also take advantage of using this one but if you really want to use a jquery then here is a way to do it so I already installed the uh, in the package of JSON, uh, the jQuery here and jQuery UI DIST file, and that's all what we need. And here in the index.html, basically we need to import that and make sure that we also here in this guy we also need to import the CSS that is using for the uh, jQuery UI. And I put the CSS directly in index.html right here. Uh, it it he so it added the CSI in our jQuery UI, and that's all. And I just need to import here the uh, the jQuery, which is going to be a dollar from jQuery. So we could able to take advantage of using the jQuery. And we just need to import other library, such as we are using the jQuery uh, UI this. And inside this, we are using the jQuery UI. And that's all. Uh, that's all we need. And I just need to put now in go to back to the jQuery here. Just grab this and whenever this component will load and it will call the use effect okay it's called the use effect and in the use effect what we can do is a uh, of course the uh, startup function basically a life cycle all right so on on the use effect here by using a, here the empty uh, the, the array I could use a date picker like this and in date picker we know it's here so if i load it here now uh i could able to see once i save it here and if it's refresh well here it is guys the date picker is here and i could able to see a date picker and i could able to use a date picker okay so so now it's already been used uh, the date picker and that's all about it guys for this this is going to be a very short video and i hope you guys learned something new and thank you very much for watching i'm going to put on more programming tricks tips on this channel thank you very much for watching bye for now